What's the difference between vitamin D2 and vitamin D3? I mean, you see vitamin D, first of all, it's everywhere. And if you go to the pharmacy or drugstore or wherever, or maybe you've gotten a prescription from your doctor, you might see D2 or D3, but what's the difference? Is one better than the other? Is one what you should be looking for? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician. We are breaking this down today. First of all, I have been prescribed a high dose vitamin D supplement by my doctor because I have a vitamin D deficiency. I should first say that before you do anything and take anything, you need to be consulting with your doctor. They need to guide you through all of this. But um, let me also tell you the sources for this video, by the way. Um, my sources are NIH, National Institutes of Health, Up to Date, Harvard Health, and MedlinePlus.gov. All right. So three main differences I want to talk about when it comes to vitamin D3 and D2. There are others as well. But let's lay some groundwork, okay? So first of all, in foods and dietary supplements, vitamin D has two main forms. D2, which is ergocalciferol, and D3, which is colocalciferol, okay? They differ really only in their side chain structures, but I know, long words, I get it. Um, so dietary supplements, supplements can contain either vitamin D2 or D3, which is exactly what we're talking about today, which is what you are seeing on shelves and things like that. All right, so let's get into the differences. The first one is how they are made. Vitamin D2 is manufactured using UV irradiation of ergosterol in yeast. Vitamin D3, on the other hand, is typically produced with irradiation of 7-dehydrocholesterol from lanolin that's obtained from the wool of sheep. Okay, I know that was a big mouthful, but I'm going to break it down a little bit. Another way of saying this, or sort of kind of breaking it down further, is that vitamin D2 is made from plants and is found in fortified foods, uh, some supplements, Vitamin D3 is naturally produced in the human body and is found in animal foods. In other words, D2, ergo calciferol, comes from plants. D3, cola calciferol, comes from animals. Okay, <laughs> that's the first difference. And by the way, the NIH says that if you do not consume animal products but need vitamin D, um, apparently there is an animal-free version of vitamin D3 that's up out there. Also, you could also contact dietary supplement and manu uh, manufacturers to ask about their sourcing and processing techniques if you don't uh, consume animal products. All right, so that's the sec first thing. The second difference is that they tend to come in different dosing. Um, D2 and D3, they do have some doses that overlap, but not all of them do, okay? So one may have more doses than the other. So dosing is not exactly the same between vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. All right, the third thing, and I think this is really important to note, is um, it also plays a role in like, if you're asking like, what's better or which one should I take? Again, this is not a direct answer to that. You gotta talk to your doctor, but um, it's also speaking to some of the difference, okay? So thirdly, there really has been some debate regarding which form should be used for supplementation, okay? D2 versus D3, which one should we use? Now, first of all, you need to keep in mind that both raise your vitamin D. They do, and they do it pretty decently. But in terms of which is better, this is according to Harvard Health, there uh, was a meta-analysis of randomized control trials that compared the effects of vitamin D2 and D3 supplements on blood levels, and they found that D3 supplements tended to raise blood concentrations of the vitamin more and sustain those levels longer than D2. Okay, so that's some data for you. And, and, and with that data, and again, there's been some controversy of that with that data, what we see is that some experts do recommend um, vitamin D3 as the preferred form. Um, but there really is some nuance with that. That is not a hard and fast. And remember that both forms are absorbed well in the gut. Um, and just with, with all transparency, the high dose vitamin D that I'm on actually is vitamin D2. That um, might be perfectly fine for certain people. I think when it, when it comes down to vitamin vitamin D2 versus D3. This is really where you need your doctor to determine which one you need or which one you can take, okay? Uh, but that not only is maybe um, a note about efficacy, but also about um, a difference between the two. So those are three sort of big differences between D2 and D3. Um, I have other videos in vitamin D. I want you to take a look at those. Just remember, and I'll say this because I say this in my other videos, make sure that you are being thoughtful about vitamin D. Don't just go to the pharmacy and pick up whatever and start taking it because 
because you hear it's a good idea. Vitamin D levels can be checked. You want to make sure that you actually need it and you want to make sure the dose that you need should you need it. That means you need to talk to your doctor about it. Remember, we give vitamin D because people are deficient, but also some people have certain medical conditions where they need to take vitamin D. So really let your doctor guide you in this endeavor. Okay. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you take vitamin D, how you take it, when you take it, why, all that, kind of, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. I do daily videos. Uh, make sure you like and follow my page on Facebook. For those of you on Facebook who send stars, thank you in advance. On YouTube, please um, subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Please share this video with other people. Comment below. And also go to my website, drjencottle.com, to sign up for my free health newsletter, guys. I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.